Hey Delta Fitness, this is Jose, the inventor and creator of Battle Rope ST, and I just wanted to make this quick little video to show you some battle rope wave movements and strength movements that you can do from the bottom anchor. So I'm going to get right into it. Well, I'll just walk you through some battle rope wave movements. Real quick, I want to refer you back to the fundamentals video. If you've not watched the fundamentals and uh, the uh, basic method of how to use your battle rope um, ST, be sure you go back and review those videos um, because your, your rope is shorter. There's a different method for achieving movement quality, so it's really important that you go back and watch those videos. But I'll show you just real quickly, um, real quick, some tips. Make sure when you start that you have your rope on the ground. You never want to start with tension on the rope. Always want to have rope on the ground. And your movements are more fluid and compact by nature. My primary movement for this basic wave movement is through the elbow. I'm also keeping my wrist mobile too. I'm allowing my wrist to flow and I'm keeping a semi-tight grip. Don't keep your wrists real locked. Make sure you tell your users to allow the wrist to flow, which will increase mobility. And that'll also, that would also help you improve with your wave movements. That's your basic battle rope wave movement right there. I'm gonna go into a squat wave now. So from right there, I could just simply add a squat. Good. Once again, make sure you have slack on your rope. Make sure you're not too far away or you're gonna wind up trying to create movement like this, which is not gonna work. So we want right there, a squat just like that. So from there, I'll go right into a uh, jump rope. And a jump rope is your, your feet mechanics are gonna be the same as if you were jumping rope. But now my movements are here on the side and I'm creating waves just like this. Nice fluid waves just like that. And then from there, I'll go into a scissor kick, a scissor kick. Um, same mechanics with the hands. My hands are in my neutral position. And now I'm on the um, balls of my feet and I'm gonna create waves just like this. Just like that, and now I'm gonna go into a reverse lunge. So same starting position, create some nice waves. Reverse lunge, just like that. Nice big step back. Once again, keep that wrist moving fluid, keep a fluid wrist. And I'm gonna go into a strength movement now. This is a standing shoulder press. And so it's really important for this movement that you start off standing straight up. I have my arms fully extended. It's gonna take a little practice to get used to this, but then I'm coming down into a flex position, making sure I have contact with the rope, and I'm pressing straight back up. It's like a combination of a shoulder press and an incline chest press at the same time, but it engages a lot of your core. That's one strength movement. Another quick, easy one is a standing row. I start from full flexion just like this. Now I can extend back, and I can row myself back into a neutral back to the neutral grip position. I can also do an underhand supinated row just like this. And I can also do a high row just like this. Nice extension just like that. And those are some strength movements for the upper body. Now I'm gonna show you some floor core movements. I'm gonna grab a mat. I'll show you real quickly. Sit up curl to start off with. A sit up curl. Make sure we have tension on the rope. Arms are fully extended, palms are facing up, and I'm gonna curl myself up and do a sit-up at the same time, making sure I keep my elbows nice and high, just like that. Sit-up curl. The key is elbows high, good flexion. Now I'll do a front shoulder raise, palms facing down. Now I'm coming up just like if I was doing a front dumbbell shoulder raise. Make sure your users have tension on the rope when they do this, just like this. And then I'll show you a seated lateral wave movement. Now I'm gonna scoop myself forward just a little bit, just so I have um, slack on the rope. And now there's a couple modifications. You could start, my arms are extended. This is the real key. You don't want your hands back here. You want arms extended past your hips, and you can alternate legs up just like this. A beginner could just lean back, engage their core, draw their belly buttons into their spine. And if you have a really strong core, you can put both feet up just like that. And there, from there, I'll show you a couple reverse crunch movements, and I'll combine them. So again, starting with uh, full tension on the rope, I'm fully extended, hands are over my eyes. I'm gonna scoop myself forward just a little bit, 
the more the rope is, the handles are lined up with your forehead and eyes, the better. Then I'm doing a reverse crunch. Of course, you have a variety of modifications, tabletop, just like this, or I can do full, full extension. I also could do a scissor kick type movement from here. I could do like flutter kicks and over unders, just like that. So, whew, there you go. Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to DM me on Instagram at BattleRopeST, and I will definitely get back to you. Um, I work with other um, gyms right now. They contact me through Instagram. Be sure to check us out there anyway for more tips and training tips uh, with BattleRopeST. My pleasure. And don't forget, move with quality. I'll see you soon.